So let's take a look at uh, from the ground station uh, what QuickSat VMS is looking like since the cyber attack that was unfortunately done on our mission. And then let's take a look at the view from the satellite side of things of QuickSat VMS. So recall on the left here is the view from the QuickSat VMS environment. And if I look here, let's go look at our command log. Uh, everything seems okay until I look at the command log and I see that there were a lot of commands to uh, process the, uh, uh, to upload an application and remove an application. Lots of remove applications all at once and they failed. And if I look at the syslog, we have quite a bit of failures that come across. And this makes sense because um, once the file was deleted, there was nothing to delete. As you see, it says no such file or directory exists. So it looks like a kind of a form of a denial of service attack. And it's important to keep in mind that even though it may have been done 10 or 15 times, if we have short time windows to talk with the satellite in low Earth orbit or anywhere, we just tied up the satellite communication window, short communication window, dealing with these commands. Let's look also at the uh, data. Uh, let's look at the primary data. And I'm both from the satellite and the ground station view or the ground station. Let's start actually with the ground station view, which is here on the left. And if you notice on the right, the right is the satellite view. We have our USB connection talking directly to the satellite for this demonstration. And the data here looks pretty normal. But on the left side of the screen, the ground station, the data is completely changed now. Now, as an operator, this is what they see. Obviously, we don't have a very long USB cord to a satellite. But we look on the ground, all of a sudden, we notice the temperature range. Let's zoom in here. Is right around 100 degrees Celsius and minus 100 degrees Celsius. So huge temperature swings. And as an operator, I would begin to think that something's wrong with the satellite because it's within bounds. And this is beginning to tell me that I may have some big temperature problems with my satellite and I may be hitting the limits of the computers and the circuitry and the sensors. So I might be inclined to. Uh, put the satellite in safe hold mode because this is what I'm looking at. I don't see this data, which is pretty normal. I see on the left and the right, this is the satellite. This is what the actual satellite's actually seeing. But on the left, uh, it is showing huge temperature swings telling me the satellite might be in trouble. So my inclination would be to command the satellite to uh, go in safe hold mode, turn off various sensors and instruments to bring this temperature down. Uh, which of course would affect the mission and its performance. Kind of a bad thing. But also I've noticed, I haven't really synced up with, and, and with the satellite uh, in quite some time here. Uh, hmm, what's going on here? So let's look at the, uh, the signal <clears throat> and shows we have a link to the satellites connected, but it's been several hours since it's, uh, been communicating with the ground. So this is a big, big concern. Now, if we look at the uh, satellite side of things, this is, which we normally wouldn't be able to do. Let's take a look here and, and it's current and merrily communicating away. Uh, so it's, it, or at least it's able to connect up with the Global Star Network, but it's not sending anything to the ground station. Why is that? If we look carefully, Communicate with ground station was turned off by the attacker. And this actually shows this little nice red symbol. It's telling me it's no longer communicating with the ground. And so unfortunately the attacker was successful in doing uh, this, this cutoff. So we've seen three attacks all piled up. One, uh, we saw a denial service attack, a bunch of commands sent that seemed odd. And then we noticed the temperature changed on the uh, CubeSat and it brought us concern that there's a problem with temperature. And now we no longer hear from the satellite. So this would give the operator the impression that the satellite overheated and then failed. 
and is now dead in space. In actuality, satellites picking up temperature data, reading data fine, but it's no longer communicating with the ground station. So this attack was very successful where the operator thinks their satellite died due to temperature and health reasons. In actuality, their cyber attack is what brought our satellite down. 